Good afternoon from Fantasia Gardens. You can't see. It's right there. Oh, there it is. Also, Mickey is over here. Oh, Can yeah. you see him? Right there. See it's like right a there? Mickey topiary with a golf ball in his fingertip. Yeah. And then we're also here with our friends, Jim and Nicole. Hello. There they are. <laughs> we're going to do some mini golf today. Yeah, we're so excited. We haven't done this in, I feel like, a very long time. Right. The last time we were here was like years ago. And Jackson's with us too. Oh, yeah. Buddy Jackson. Are you going to be our little good luck charm so we can win? I hope so. Me too. There is some <laughs> construction going on over here at what's it called? It's called the Swan Reserve. It's in addition to the Swan and Dolphin Hotel. Uh -huh. So yeah, you might hear some construction noises while we're doing this. Let's get to playing. There's a little gift shop outside here. We can buy masks, goofy candy, some mini sweets, sunscreen of course, a Mickey plush, Olaf plush, got some golf balls and some pins. So here's some information about the course. It's 18 holes filled with deep bunkers, hazards, dog legs, and roughs. I don't know what a dog leg is. 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. $14, $12 for kids, three to nine. And this side is the fun side. So there's 18 holes of whimsical fun and musical sequences. Oh, this is the side where there's like the fountains. So this side over here is more of like the challenge side. We're gonna do the fun side today. So they also mentioned that on the website, it says that you need reservations for here. But then when we got here, they said, you don't need reservations. You can just show up and they'll let you play. Cause I guess not a lot of people are coming out and playing. So we're on to the first hole. And so this golf course is themed after Fantasia, the movie. And so we're going after the music here, Takata and Fugue. This is a par three. And as we're doing the fun side, there's also a more challenging side. But it looks like we have to start here and try to hit it up through the, through this like horn, and make it around the music note and then come out here or make it around the treble clef and then hit the bass clef and go into the hole. See how, oh, there's little secret holes down here as well. All right, we'll see what happens. So I went out to the car. Yeah, we had to get the umbrella. To get the umbrella. And so while you were gone, Jim got a hole in one. Nicole got a three, par three. Is that how you say it, par three? Sort of it, well, she got a three, but this is a par three oh, hole. Oh, so you did good. Yeah, yeah, that was good. I'm gonna try for a hole in one. Okay. We'll see. What you wanna do is you wanna go past this ramp. There's, there's two ramps. You wanna go past that small ramp and go over to this like loop-de-loop -loop ramp. Okay. So, so like hit it hard. I'm gonna try. Oh no. Oh, it didn't even go. Didn't that, that's a mulligan. Oh no. Doesn't count. It's a straight empty I think that counts as one though. No, no, it was a mulligan. You oh, just go okay. again. Everybody gets one mulligan. Everybody that? gets as many mulligans as we want. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I think you did. I think you did something. I think it might be, it was too hard. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I think that that's a that's a course fault right there because you see how it's like worn away. Oh yeah, it's not my fault. Yeah, it would have been a hole in one if okay. it, if the grounds were kept up. Oh, you're left-handed now. This is awesome. You did it. That's two. I'm number two. All right, now it's my turn. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. whoa. That was too hard. <laughs> Do you have to play from over here? It's mini golf roll, so you don't have to, but I'm going to. Okay. Oh geez, it's following me. All right, I'm gonna stop it. Okay. Okay, so that's two. I believe in you. Uh, oh, it's still going, still going, still going. <laughs> well, it's so close. All right, so I'm gonna count. Three? That's a, a four. A four? That's a four. So I got two, Tim got four. There we go. Jim's in the lead so far. What the heck? We gotta take them down. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so we're still listening to Takata and Fugue. This is a par three at hole two, and we're thinking that maybe these little little like lyrics over here tell us how to complete the hole. The notes upon the staff you see may seem quite lovely musically, but now as you begin to play, you'll see they may get in your way. Oh, so they're they're meant to be an obstacle. Yeah. Okay. I thought you had to go through the holes. They want you to like just totally bypass. Them. I think that it's literally impossible to get a hole in one on this oh, yeah. course. Unless you like chipped it over there. Right. <laughs> Just hit it that way. Let's see how Jim does. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna eat my words. Oof. That was 
That was good. That was real good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Two. I did it. On to hole number three before our little foot. Oh, it played a little music note. Chimes are ringing sweet and clear. So there's lots of different things that'll happen on this hole in particular. You've got like little dingly things. And then as it goes down, It'll play notes on these as well. So this one's kind of fun. All right, Jen, I think you got to hit it fairly hard. Whoa, that's a mulligan. Oh, not hard enough. Now it goes into a secret hole. Where does it end up? Whoa. Oh, it made a noise. I feel like that's when the water would happen. I think it's supposed to spray water. Yeah. Look at it go, look at it go. Close. That's two right there. Look but at I you. Feel like, is it really two? Because yeah. I have to do the thing. It's mini golf. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, I got some music. See, I think the music is distracting. I think you get a better shot not going up and around it. Oh. <laughs> Look at the beautiful water feature in between our next holes. I like this a lot. It's very natural. It does look, it's not blue at all. I like it when it's not like the dyed blue. Yeah. I did want to show you something. So if you're doing this golf course, make sure that you are always reading these. Yeah. Because this one gives you a little tip. Spring is here and just beyond blossom float upon the, upon the pond, the open bud should be your goal. It's dainty petals surround the hole. So if you didn't read this, you wouldn't know where the hole is. These umbrellas throughout the course have been a lifesaver. Yeah, they're very nice. And actually under the under the uh, shade with the breeze, actually it doesn't feel bad. Yeah. So, okay. Jackson's got it made in the shade. He's got like 15 fans on him. He's got water. Look at him. <laughs> Did you see his new, his new Crocs? Yeah. What are those? <laughs> those are my Crocs. They're, they're called my sandals. <laughs> Cheer mommy on, Jackson. Say, go, mommy, go. You can do it. One more hit. Now say, yay, mommy. I got a three and Tim got a three. Say, so wait, go, daddy, go. Who's in the lead? Still Jim? Jackson, you made Jim do math. I'm sorry. <laughs> that wasn't my intention. I think it might be you. You're Aww. 10 right now. You're one stroke under me. Oh, okay. We gotta keep this. Gotta keep this going. Gotta keep All it right, going. All right, Jackson. Help mommy win. This is a super fun hole because you have the little mushroom that pops up and down. There's an obstacle here. Let's see. Can Jim do it? Can he get a hole in one? <gasps> I think he might do it. He just might do it. Oh man, that was so close. A hole in two is not bad. So these lively mushrooms circle around while one is hopping up and down at the feet of little hop low is where you want the ball to go. All right, let's see, can Nicole do it? Did you do it? Oh, mulligan. That's a mulligan. she pulled a gen. Oh, there it is, there it is. Will you get a hole in one? It keeps skipping right past the hole. Oh, you did it. Look at that. The golf queen. <laughs> All right, so this one is like a wintry themed hole. And it's, oh, the Nutcracker Suite. As winter arrives, the fairies create a frost covered pond where they can skate. Their path is on the left where it should roll. Then watch as it waltzes down to the hole. Oh, so you want to hit the left track. You want to go to the left. All right. Oh, you went around the right. Look at it like squiggle back and forth. That's fun. I like that it's like a, like luging. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Just remember, nice little tap. Just tap it in. <laughs> oh, okay. It's all in the hips. Oh, no. All in the hips. There you go. Oh, they're on to the next right. hole. This one looks awesome. Tap, 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 Hi. Oh. oh no. Hi buddy, are you cheering Dada on? I was three. Are you saying, Dad, you can do it. Dad, you can do it. 
I did three, Jackson. All right, we're still in the Nutcracker Suite. Let's see if we can see or easily putt around them all. So, so the it's cool like, thing about this, this is very reminiscent of like old school, like mini golf places with the windmill. Yeah. This is like the windmill, but better because it's a snowflake. And it says you can just easily go around them. Oh, can you? Or try the hard way. But I feel like the hard way has like more payoff. It's a better payoff, yeah. yeah. Can Nicole do it? Let's see. The pressure is on. Oh no. We believe in you. Oh, you did it right when she was about to swing? That's what messed her up. Oh no. You can't sorry, say anything. I'm sorry. I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. You say it now. You say, we believe in you. And then you get her quiet. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Right through. Is it good? Look at that one over there. So that's the difficult course. That looks pretty hard. Yeah, we tried to, we the picked. Yeah, we picked the fun course. But like we said, when we first started, there is a difficult course. And that's it. Looks uh, looks kind of ridiculous, doesn't it? Oh, this is the 18th hole. This is the last hole. But it does. It has sand traps and everything. I don't think they're real sand traps. Ooh, Jen's up. Here we go. Whoa, right through. Right through and back through the other way. No, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, that was a good one. Dang. That was real went, good. I almost went all the way back through. Wow. I don't know my own strength. Nice work. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no. <laughs> I had it all set up to show it going through the snowflake. Right in the hole in one <laughs> and I missed it. That's okay. We can't all be winners. I think you just called me a loser. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that was three. So this will be four if I can make it in here. What was the par? Do you remember? Three. Are they all par three? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. But this one, I, I actually, I don't. I feel like I saw so many par threes. Was this a par three? Yeah. I don't know. Was it? Yeah. Look at this. We're headed to the next hole, and it's like <laughs> we're headed to like Mount Prometheus. Or oh something. yeah, we're going inside of a mountain. I bet it's really cool in here. This is a, a little spooky. Jackson, do you hear the echo? Echo. Oh, it feels so nice in here. Wow, yeah, there's like a breeze pulling through. <laughs> yeah. So this is the Pastoral Symphony, part three. Within Mount Olympus, the opus unfolds and what mythological creatures it holds when putting the ball be careful to go straight through the pillars to the caverns below. So where does the ball come out? Oh, caverns below. Oh. I said this was Mount Prometheus. I was way off. <laughs> you were Mount close. Olympus. It's a mountain. We were close. Where's the hole? Yeah, it's there. It's like straight through the Keep going. Oh, oh, I see it. Oh man, that was good. Oh, it's going. Is it going? Yeah, Is it going to do it? Are you going to do it? Oh, oh. Oh, There he is. Did you see him? Oh my goodness. Chernabog came to cheer you on. I wanted to show you all Chernabog coming to life. I like how he's like, eh. Oh, 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 oh. Look at you. Look at you. It's coming around. It's coming around. It's coming in. Oh. Disastrous. Jackson, you want to meet another spooky villain? Here he is. Another thing to note is that normally on the way out, you can see there's nozzles in the roof here or in the ceiling and they would be spraying water, but we live in different times. So now there is no water spraying. I think it's like a mist, right? Yeah. Like not actual like rain water. Yeah, a mist. Okay. So we're on hole nine. It's a par three. This is the pastoral symphony. An impish fawn loves to tease as he plays his pipe with ease. So if you can putt straight and true, perhaps he'll play a tune for you. Okay. So it's saying just go straight down the middle. And it's kind of hard to see, but there are some like some variations in elevation here. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Right down the center. Oh, look at doing it! Look at it doing its thing. Oh no! Too hard again. I think that, I, I don't. Okay, let's see. 
Okay. All right. Looking good. I wonder what song you'll get. Two! I feel like I was being abducted by aliens. Right? What did you think of that? Was that funny? Yeah. Hey, that's a that funny daddy. Funny. You want your snacks? You want your snacks? Yeah, you do. So I did also want to mention, because I feel like we may get some questions about the masks. So although this is an outdoor activity and we are outside the whole time in the fresh air, they do require that you wear your mask throughout the entire course. So that's why we're all wearing our masks, because those are the rules. So just be aware if you're going to come and play some golf, you do have to bring your mask and you do have to wear it through the entire course. And I think that also is true for the actual golf courses. Oh, like the real course? Yeah. Not that this isn't real, but, but like the... I don't have confirmation of that, but I know that the rules are anywhere on Disney property. Right, that makes sense. So, so. also there's a hand washing station here. Oh yeah, look at that. So you can wash your hands. Like this. Because you have been touching your ball and your and your stick. What is this called? Your yeah, putter. Oh. Ooh, this is Dionysus. He loves wine. So this is a par three. In all of the land, there's no one more raucous than the fellow here. Oh no, his name is Bacchus. The infamous Bacchus. Oh, I thought it was Dionysus. We're, I think we're doing Greek and we're not doing Greek. Oh, gotcha. He's poured you a path that you simply put up, hit it, hit it just right, and it spills to the cup. Okay. Okay. There's the hole over there. So if you hit it too hard, it'll go past. But if you hit it just right, it goes down this first hole. Okay, we'll see or if we can... Or there, there's also a hole here. Maybe that goes, where does that let out? I don't know, last time that was a better, a better deal. Where is it at? Oh yeah, it's through the trees there. Tower of Terror, can you guys see it? All right, oh, okay, that was like the perfect hit. Let's see. Let's see where it comes out. Right there, oh buddy. Am I gonna get a hold in two? Oh man, that was a good, a that was good. That was real good. Nice. You cheering mommy on? <laughs> dance of the hours, par three. You'll notice in a glance, these graceful ladies love to dance. This bird ballet is lovely, but they may distract you as you putt. Ooh. Ostriches. All right, we're causing a bit of a traffic jam. Oh no, okay, I'm gonna go quick. So we gotta go quick. Speed golf. <laughs> I'm coming right behind you. Still on dance of the hours. And here the dance grows even greater. Enter now, Ben Alligator. With hippo high, he strains beneath. Now simply putt between his teeth. We're just going straight through the alligator. Does it just like pop out of his tail? Okay, yeah. Straight out of his tail. Hopefully to a hole in one. But who's in the lead? So far me. Oh yeah? Oh, oh, funny story that the scorekeeper is in the lead. Sure. And, and I'm real bad sure. at math. So. <laughs> yeah. When I just counted, I it's was in the lead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And when I counted, I was in the lead. Oh no, and when I counted, Jackson was in the lead. I didn't have your... After they dance their amusing duet, Hycynthia Hippo will now pirouette. Carefully watch and see as she spins here for you. Time it just right and the ball will go through. So you just have to get it just right. And if you don't, if it gets in, in between here, It'll drop it off here, and then it'll just be back here at the back of the course. So, not the best spot. But yeah, you, you want it to come straight through. Did you do it? Did you do it? <gasps> you made it all the way through. I think I was the only one who didn't make it all the way through. No, Jim didn't. Oh, okay. Is that a three? Three. We are at hole four, dance of the hours still, par three. Twilight brings a mood of romance, the perfect time for an elephant dance. So while she strikes this beautiful pose, aim for the path beneath her toes. I love this pose. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Is it a hole in one? Hole in two is not bad. 
Yeah. All right, so we're on hole 15. We're still on the Dance of the Hours, par three. Before we can finish this silly ballet, this fanciful fountain is ready to spray. So keep an eye out for each little jet. They're hopping and hoping to get the ball wet. So I guess if you get the ball wet, that makes it harder to get it in the hole? Just a few more. Oh. I keep hitting it way too hard. You I'm did just great. Like... <laughs> All right, we've made it to the iconic feature, Sorcerer's Apprentice. Mickey's in trouble for casting a spell meant to assist him in filling the well. Now armies of brooms with a water supply are ready to douse anything that goes by. I feel like there was supposed to be a lot of water coming out here. They just sprayed water everywhere. Oh, did you catch that? No. Let's see if maybe me putting it sets it off. All right, I'm gonna go. Oh, there it goes. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh. All right, here we are, hole 17. When Mickey is dreaming, he's brave and he's brash, conducting the stars and creating a splash. From high on a cliff, he's on top of it all. He'll show you his stuff when you're putting the ball. I think he's probably supposed to spray water too, but I don't know if he does. That's hard because you have to hit it just light, but also hard to get over top of the hill. But you want to come down this chute, not this one. And so because I came over, because I came from the far one, I'm kind of far away from the hole. Here it is, the last hole. The wave has grown bigger with magic it stirs. When up from the bottom a whirlpool occurs, a putt to the left will spin it and then we hope you'll return here again and again. And there's Yensid right there. So this last one's pretty, pretty easy. Like you just hit it up the ramp and then it goes in the hole. Let's see. We did it. And normally that would spray water, but not anymore. So as we all know, in the game of golf, the lowest score wins. Mm -hmm. So the person with the lowest score was Jackson <laughs> at zero. You won, So buddy. he wins. Oh my goodness. You but did who, it. So what you said, 54. 54, 50. 50, 49. 49 for me. Ah, I stopped playing a little bit like halfway through, so I'm sort of like disqualified, but I think you won. Okay, I'll yeah. take it. Nice work. I did it. You're the mini golf king. Yay. <laughs> the crowd is going wild. They're doing it. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a good time. Thanks for inviting us on your mini golf date. You're welcome. That was awesome. Thanks for so thank you, Jackson. So he's picking his nose to say thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so it's actually some time later. Uh, we had to get home and get Jackson fed and then to sleep and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But really enjoyed Fantasia Gardens. I do too. You know, we played it so many years ago. We did all the courses and I feel like I want to go play them all again. I forgot like how much fun mini golf was. Yeah. And I feel like every time we play mini golf, I say this. Right. Because there's also like the really fun courses at Universal too. Those are super fun. And I think Disney has... They have a winter garden or winter garden, winter <laughs> summerland. They also have two, like two courses at each place. Yeah. So there's four different courses. And the other course at the at Fantasia Gardens is like a an expert course or like, like a, a challenge. Yeah. yeah. It's not like a true mini golf, like with the fun stuff. Yeah. But it looked really cool. It had sand traps. It had like hills. Seems hard. Well, yeah, it's the it's the challenge course. Seems challenging. But I want to try that sometime. I will say this. They said we didn't need a reservation and we got there a little bit late behind what our actual reservation was because we did make a reservation. Jim and Nicole made a reservation for us. Yeah. They said that it was very difficult to make the reservation because they had to call ahead of time. Right. And they were on hold for like an hour. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And then... Um, the other thing about the entire mini golf experience, if you're slow at mini golf and the group behind you is fast, they catch up to you. Yeah. And that's not as, it's kind of like nerve wracking in today's environment. 
Well, I think it's just nerve wracking in general, though, too, because you feel like people are waiting on you. Right. And you're like, oh, no, we're just slow. But still, I had a fantastic time. I had so much fun. It was, I do wish, I think that it'll be a little bit more fun when the weather is cooler. Oh, yeah. Because it was still pretty warm, but it was nice to have the little shady parts which is really great. They have the umbrellas everywhere. So if you are looking for shade, you can find it. And it was kind of cool in the shade, but when you're um, just on the course, it was like a little bit warm. So I think when the weather cools down, it'll be like the perfect time to do mini golf. Yeah. And also they had some of the water features turned off, but some were not turned off. I think it was like the iconic one they left on, which was the the buckets, the water pails, right. like the, the broom scene. Um, and then the one that was like the challenging part of the hole was the water. Like that one wasn't turned off, obviously, but I, all of the rest of them were turned off. Yeah. So I understand why they did it. And I kind of understand why they left the ones on that they did. Right. But I will be happy to go back and play like when everything's back to normal. Yeah. And like, and see it in its, all of its glory, you know. So all in all, fantastic day. Yeah. Good times with good friends we and so good much golf. Fun. Yes. I love it. Let's so, do it again. We will. Okay. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to help. So today's organization that we'd like to shine a spotlight on is actually run by Tiger Woods, the golfer. So it is the TGR Foundation, and it is a nonprofit organization that helps empower underprivileged students through education in science, technology, engineering, and math. It helps them think in teams and also helps them to think independently, and it assists them with access to college, which is really great. So if you'd like to learn more about the TGR Foundation and how they're impacting communities, we will leave a link in the description down below. Yeah, and thank you guys for watching this video.